Welcome to Capital Yoga's Mindfulness Practice Audio Advent Calendar. I'm Jamine Ackert. Today's quote is by Jack Kornfield. Jack Kornfield is an American Buddhist teacher. He is a founder of the Spirit Rock Meditation Center in Marin County, California, where he lives and teaches. Today's quote is from his book, A Path with Heart, A Guide Through the Perils and Promises of Spiritual Life. Today I'm going to read a little bit of what he wrote, and then I'm actually going to read his instructions on metta meditation. The quote is, Even the most exalted states and the most exceptional spiritual accomplishments are unimportant if we cannot be happy in the most basic and ordinary ways. I'm going to read it again, this time in context with the rest of what he said. All other spiritual teachings are in vain if we cannot love. Even the most exalted states and the most exceptional spiritual accomplishments are unimportant if we cannot be happy in the most basic and ordinary ways, if with our hearts we cannot touch one another and the life we have been given. What matters is how we live. This is why it is so difficult and so important to ask this question of ourselves. Am I living my path fully? Do I live without regret? So that we can say on whatever day is the end of our life, Yes, I have lived my path with heart. From here, he gives the instructions, a meditation on loving kindness, which we know as metta meditation. The quality of loving kindness is the fertile soil out of which an integrated spiritual life can grow. With a loving heart as the background, all that we attempt, all that we encounter will open and flow more easily. While loving kindness can arise naturally in us in many circumstances, it can also be cultivated. The following meditation is a 2,500 year old practice that uses repeated phrases, images, and feelings to evoke loving kindness and friendliness toward oneself and others. You can experiment with this practice to see if it is useful for you. Okay, and then he goes on to say, Sit in a comfortable fashion. Let your body relax and be at rest. As best you can, let your mind be quiet, letting go of plans and preoccupations. Then begin to recite inwardly the following phrases directed to yourself. You begin with yourself because without loving yourself, it is almost impossible to love others. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be well. May I be peaceful and at ease. May I be happy. As you say the phrases, you may also wish to use the image from the Buddha's instructions. Picture yourself as a young and beloved child or sense yourself as you are now held in a heart of loving kindness. Let the feelings arise with the words. Adjust the words and images so that you can find the exact phrases that best open your heart of kindness. Repeat the phrases again and again, letting the feelings permeate your body and mind. He says as well that at first this meditation may feel mechanical or awkward or even bring up its opposite, feelings of irritation and anger. If this happens, it is especially important to be patient and kind toward yourself, allowing whatever arises to be received in a spirit of friendliness and kind affection. So hear the words again. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be well. May I be peaceful and at ease. May I be happy. And just stay with your breath. May you be well. You can open your eyes and I'll be back here tomorrow.